Hello, I'm in Mushroom. This is Mushroom Games, and today, to begin with, upgrading a cobblestone minion. I hope we can afford it. Okay, can we afford a second? Uh, no, we cannot. So, let's collect that, and, um, refine some cobble into enchanted cobblestone. And, uh, there we go, and apparently that counts towards carpentry, so that's very nice. We can now craft a minion chair and a dark oak chair, which I will look at after I use this material to upgrade our nice friendly minion. There you go. And... So, uh, tier 5 now, quite a lot of inventory, we'll need a considerable amount of enchanted, and, uh, I guess we should upgrade those two as well. So, we need, well, first we need to put this down, and then we need beef and wheat, as well as, uh, chicken, because there's a chicken minion now. Um, I got a chicken minion so that I could get, I was hoping to get eggs for platform building, because the stone recipe uses them, uh, the, let's see, um, stone platform recipe needed an egg and I needed I wanted one of those, so let's collect everything, put in an upgrade, what do you need? We can afford to tier 4 upgrade, and we'll need enchanted beef. Hello, what's this chicken doing here? I guess a chicken escaped. Huh. Did the chicken escape my, uh, egg hutch? Yeah, probably. So, let's disassemble that, and then we need wheat. Awesome. And that is not exactly what I meant to do, but here we go. Let's just take everything just in case. On our way out, drop off leftover beef, leftover leather, and leftover cobble. My plan for today, after we get everything sorted out, is to go to the deep caverns for a while, and then work some on carpentry. So, let's collect everything, upgrade to tier 2, upgrade to tier 3, upgrade to tier 4. Awesome. And, uh, hello chickens. I don't want you out and about. So, let's collect that. Feather level 2, I can now make Feather Falling 4 books, and I can now make a bridge egg, which makes a solid stripe of land, instead of a piece at a certain point. It's for building out. I consider the stone recipe for building down. So let's uh, put that away. Shoot down here, drop this wheat into its box, put these seeds away, and then make our way first to the blacksmith shop to enchant this pickaxe, then to the gold mines to put telekinesis on this sword, and then to the deep caverns where I intend to do a great deal of mining. I'm quite excited. Our first anvil-based enchant. This will take six levels. Excellent. And um, enchanting level one now from that upgrade, which is excellent. Conjurer one, we get 4% more experience orbs. We have an extra intelligence point, And we have 25 coins. 
speaking of intelligence, it might be a good idea to go to that area in the park where you can complete rhythm games to gain a permanent bonus intelligence, just uh, in case for later usage it would be good to have some uh, surplus intellect. I will comment again on how excellent the buildings in the mining area are, and uh, as everything loads in past these two merchants, past that blacksmith, which I need to remember because I could have used him, Rusty, please put telekinesis on this sword, and now past the lazy miner. Um, I have looked into some of the quests in this area, and apparently it might be non-recommended to go near one of the lapis quests if you have a good iron pickaxe, because it might take the wrong pickaxe. I will keep that in mind, but... I don't think I'll be going straight to the Lapis area today. It's really just a matter of what exactly I want to get first. So, I can go to all of these places, collections, let's look into that momentarily. So, iron can give us very interesting stuff, golem armor. That could be very nice. Um, and a golem sword, which does a great deal of damage and gives even more bonus defense. That might be a cool thing to work on. You could get absorption stuff. And what? And some stuff here is still coming soon. A cleaver, that might be a good item for the time being. Uh, diamonds, do you have anything we might want to gather? Uh, Diamond 3 would give us a portal, which I do like the idea of, although I do not yet have a portal room. Diamond spreading occasionally generates diamonds. That's very cool. Hardened diamond, just high defense, enchanted diamond block, and perfect diamond, which gives even more defense. Beautiful. There's lapis, a textbook. I don't know what that's going to be yet. Experience bottles. Experience enchant. Basically, for gaining levels, you want to gather lapis. I don't really need levels right now. Emeralds. You have talismans. You have emerald armor. That is very interesting. But it is dependent upon the number of emeralds you have collected. Very good to know. Redstone. Ah, an accessory bag. I think I might want to work on uh, stuff associated with accessory bags today. Just so that I might uh, regulate my bags and begin utilizing some of the talismans I've gotten. But let's perhaps first <coughs> gather some quantity of both iron, and gold.
And there is iron ingot 3, giving us the protection 4 recipe. Most excellent. There's coal 3, giving us a haste potion. We're getting these levels uh, quite quickly, we have grouped them together. At any rate, on with collecting. And uh, there is mining level 9, giving us a 36% chance for double ore, an extra defense, and 700 coins. Spectacular. There is gold ingot 3, unlocking us the enchanted book of looting 3 recipe. No, looting 2, I can't speak. Dang. But we still need yet more resources. There, we have mining level 10, a 40% chance for double ore, an extra defense, and now 800 more coins. Oh okay. dear. And now we have unlocked the gunpowder collection for combat. Let us take the quickest look at that. Creeper minion, a creeper hat. Very cool. Blast protection. <laughs> Thunderlord, uh, cool. Um, firework rockets, creeper pants, and an explosive bow that, uh, explodes when it hits stuff. All very, very cool. And now, with a substantial load of resources in our bags, let us fast travel back to the home island. Thank you. Let's get through that little spot of lag and uh, get a bit of wood. Let's just grab that whole stack. What do we have in here? We have nothing. That was a good idea then. So that's an auto smelter. Very cool. We'll need some of those very soon. So my goal right now is to just, um, manage to gather a great deal of iron at a high speed.
So, first I will need to check how many minions am I able to have? Six. Wait. Let's see. So, is that accurate? Um, alright, so we can have six. We currently have four in play. I've made too many pickaxes, but uh, that doesn't really matter right now. I just won't put everything into use right away. Let's distribute iron into this arrangement. Is this what we need? I hope so. Oh goodness. I've done it wrong, haven't I? What have I done? Uh, do we need ore? I hope we don't need ore. That would be drastic and dreadful. Oh. Hello? What? Where are you spawning? Why are you so angry? Okay, I'll take your word for it, but, alright, that that's fine, we just need a bit more in every stack. There's an iron minion, thank you. Awesome, we now have a seventh minion slot, which is most excellent. So now we can craft three iron minions, or two gold and two iron. Just, we can't use everything at once. Let's dedicate everything to iron for right now. Just for the golem gear. I don't know if it's exactly what we're looking for. I don't even know if it's that good. It just uh, looks quite cool. So, now let's clear out three inventory slots. Slide that down. We need to go down this hallway. Put down our gold. And we have very little stockpiled iron, so I don't believe we'll be able to get too many upgrades right off the bat, but we will be able to put in a fair effort. How do chickens keep getting out? I guess they just uh, squeak through the bars. Hello. So, I earn minion one in commission. Two. It is quite dark in this area, so I believe we'll need, perhaps, uh, look into glowstone or redstone lamps, just because torches are a bit inopportune to place in this area. But, all in all, very good. I It was a bit lighter when I first conceptualized this design. How much do you cost to upgrade? Well, we can afford one tier two. Alright, that's another unique minion. Do we have enough to afford that? No, we do not. We now have three iron minions beginning to work on production. What next? Let's get storage for four. So four stacks of wood. I don't know why I got those four in particular, just uh, felt like it, really. So, those two, those two, and let's, um, how much does an auto smelter cost? We'll need more than one, so, uh, are you here? Auto smelter takes one stack of cobblestone, one piece of coal. Alright, we can afford that. Let's get two more auto smelters that do not stack. That's very good to know. And now back into this area. Auto smelter in place and a chest. There's a chest. There's an auto smelter. And, um, oh boy, I'm going to have to wait a minute to for you to generate a block there, and now I think I can just uh, slide that into there, and now we have three pieces of production in play, these areas doing as they will for the time being, 
let's come back out here, let's deposit that small storage, and uh, that pickaxe, just because it's the only place we'll probably ever need it. And now, sort out our inventory before we continue on to the next part of our agenda. So now, monster loot, where do strings go? There are strings. Chicken is kept over here. There's our chicken, there's our feathers. And we need somewhere for gunpowder to go. Very good. We have an open chest down here. Yes, do we have an open item frame? No. I'll go get that. Placeholder. Do you have any item frames? Yes, we have three. We will need to make some more very, very soon. But not yet. On our way back over there, let's uh, put this smooth stone where it belongs. This stuff of planks. Let's deposit these torch those sticks there, not torches. Torches go in construction. Alright, you go there. We don't need these cobblestones. And now let's look at the carpentry recipes from earlier. And yes, I do have a nice little stool in which I can sit. I replaced the brewing stand there. So a dark oak chair made with planks and stone, a minion chair, seats one minion. All right, very, very nice. Huh. So let's make a dark oak chair. Looks quite interesting. A lot of recipes so far use dark oak, so uh, we might need to get some more before we uh, invest a great deal of time into our carpentry. So, we have four base stone. Yes, thank you. Now we hop over here. And one dark oak chair. Let's set it here just to see how it looks. Very nice. Got a chair. Very nice indeed. But I don't exactly think I want any dark oak chairs right now. So let's see. Let's make our bridge platform. No, not bridge platform. We don't want a bridge platform. We want a. Whatchamacallit? for going up and down, not for going to the sides. So where do we, do we want to go down right now even? Huh. I'm not altogether sure. I had a great plan in mind, but with this construction piece, I don't know if it will be even necessary. So let's just come over here, put the stone platform away. And where next should we invest our time? Let's uh, remove this zombie from circulation. You are not a cow. Why are you in there? I know. It's, it's strange. Now, do we need both of these tools? What are our plans even? Uh, let's see. Perhaps... Now... I don't know. Huh. What on earth do we want to do? I know. Let's uh, report to the Hub Island. There's someone I've yet to speak to in depth, although I have taken a number of his flowers. I believe his name's uh, Marco. And there's a... Uh, one moment. Where was I? Uh, server reset. But we are now going over to speak with Marco because there's something very interesting in his house and I want to know what it is. That thing. Hello, Marco. Oh, I need to get you poppies. 
so why not just go outside and pop and uh, pick poppies for yourself? I don't know. You do you. Here you go. Take the spray can. Select the spray and right click a wall on your private island. Ah, very cool. So, visit the canvas room sometime. You have a portal to your canvas room. Very nice. Uh, so a spray bottle. Let's uh, look at that. Hypixel logo. Okay. Um, interesting. So, huh. I guess this might be a replacement to item frames at some point. Warp to the canvas room. Oh, oh boy, oh boy. So, a large shrubbery, large scale cobblestone. I think it's supposed to look stylistically like we're miniaturized, perhaps? Perhaps not. Either way, very nice cobblestone-esque. Exterior, let's explore down here. Can we pick these flowers? No, we cannot. This looks suspiciously like something from the Hypixel Arcade. I'm concerned. Huh. I wonder if this will be some questionable quest similar to Gustav's, or if it'll be a larger scale project. Hello, Marco. Look who it is. So, would I like to draw something? Very nice. Um, yeah, this is just pixel painters, I think. That's funny. Make a game inside a game from a game you already own. Very nice. Uh, let's erase. I don't like how this looks. Um, I wish I could aim a bit more precisely. I wonder what those name tags are. Is that the surface above us? Perhaps. So, let's draw something uh, thematically appropriate. So, there we go. Block across. We color this in. And now we have to decide where we want our little white spots to be. Do we want it to resemble us or something else? Oh no. So let's fill one of those back in. And now, what color would work for the stem? Let's do uh, our best, I think. Um, shading that. I don't think there's any way we'll get it exactly the way we want it, but we can figure out something. Yeah. I was already drawing in silver, I believe. So let's, um, draw a little ground layer, maybe a log or a branch, fill it out to there, give us a bit of lime. Draw an outline of something, and then a leaf, another leaf. I'm quite pleased with this, really, but maybe we should erase the, those corners. Very good, and uh, I'll consider that done. Oh, you like it. Very cool. Alright, so, 
Someday we'll be able to make our own sprays here. That's very cool. And, uh, we're done. Very nice, though. Very fun and very nice. Oh, hello again, Marco. And, uh, here are some of the sprays we will be able to use later on. Map art with item frames. But cooler. Because you can place it with a player head that looks like. A spray can. Where to next, I wonder? Um, actually, nowhere, I think. We have made a great deal of progress. We've had a considerable amount of fun, or at least I have, and I hope you have. But, there is not much else to do today. And uh, on that note, I will come over to my desk, take a seat, and wish you all a goodbye. Have a very nice night, or day, and I hope to see you again. Goodbye.